our way to Kumasi. Boxers all the time. Yeah, but don't quote them. Emulate what they're doing. First I see it, then I go out and get it. If you want to love, you gotta give it. Don't ever let them knock you off your pivot. Keep your vibes high, don't you get it? It's a journey, so your work is never finished. I invite you all to believe. I'm stroke projecting through frequency. I am all that I something so um beautiful you see what you just did what you will you, you won't remember this day i remember your attitude towards after something happened and i look at these things a lot i pay attention to details on how someone reacts in situations and i feel like you don't know who you are here with the beautiful megan green and um she's from the beautiful land of philadelphia yes and she's in ghana she's been doing this um, crown workshop and today it's an honor to be working with her and all I want to say is that um, with this beautiful queen she's determined to get things done if you guys knew what happened behind the scenes yeah. Sis. it was a spiritual welfare but God is always the greatest and God is the winner I, I got guys, everything <laughs> guys this thing was just in my eye can you zoom can you like go to the and then look at her eye like you see the bump this was just in my eye and I had to scream to get Eve to come and get it. It could have... It would have been a, a blood... Guys, I would have been out here walking around like a pirate <laughs> doing workshops. Like, that's not a part of my testimony. Like, uh -uh. <laughs> nah. -uh. So we want to give God all the glory that in the end he was able to, like, you know, give me, like, all that calmness to, like, get the thing out of her eye. But honestly, you guys do not know what happens behind the scenes. We, you, we always paint a picture of greatness, but some of these things are tough battles. So we see women like Megan respect her craft and her worth. And also we see people like me respect our craft and our worth at the end of the day. And I also think when you're really close to breakthrough and what you're doing is not really something that just impacts you, but it impacts you, it impacts perspective, the world can shift. I feel like that's when we have the craziest things happening. And I feel like staying strong throughout those moments is very challenging. And I think that people don't see the struggles and the silent battles you face as an entrepreneur. Right. You know? And yeah, it's just... I wish I could say this was the first time that something like this. I mean, nothing like where I'm about to become a pirate, <laughs> but you know, some crazy things have happened. Right. Crazy things, things are, are happening. happening. Crazy, <laughs> crazy things are things. happening. <laughs>
do. <laughs> of course, I was going to talk. You can introduce yourself, but I gotta do all the introduction. <laughs> Commercial Fashion Week, as you can see, we are super excited behind the scenes. There's a lot of work. Shout out to um, all the people involved. Amazing job. For the night actually tonight i think we should start interviewing the men Hours. it's like your designer said let's make nature beautiful what's up what's your name my name is maureen my name is maureen maury like the maury show you don't i, I bet ghana we don't have maury show oh it's okay you, you be our maury show so tell me what inspired your look today um nature as you said i'm actually a nature boy so so you're into nature so tell me, what's your experience at Kumasi Fashion Week? Is this your first day? Oh, no, no, no. How many days have you been here for? I was here yesterday and today. You're here yesterday and today. So the, be between the two days, tell me what has been your memorable moment here? Um, I really like the fashion show and the shoot and all. And I like everything. I like everything going on. So if you have to tell a story to someone coming to Kumasi Fashion Week next year, what is that story you will tell them? Person show and speed for bigger things because this year's a blast. I'm actually on speed for today. Sponsors are Don Seaman, and we have on the red carpet. What's your name, sir? I'm Richie. Richie, are you rich? Yeah. You're rich, eh? I like that. Your richness is life, right? Rich, yeah. Okay, so tell me, who put this look together? Myself, Richie Couture. Myself, Richie Couture. Your name is Richie Couture. So today at Kumasi Fashion Week, tell me, what are you seeing that is inspiring your future look? Very nice atmosphere. Yeah, it's very, it's very nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's take it to the Toronto St. So you can see Drake on the St. Tara. Aubrey. Live my Degrassi dream. Why are you coming to Toronto? 
Um, just because I like the the Canadian president. That's why. Do you know him? What's his name? The prime minister. Maybe the prime minister. Yes. yes. You don't have a Is that Justin? Yes, it's Justin. Justin. No, but who's the other guy? The Indian guy. Oh. I love him. I'm, I forgot his name. I've been following it's both it's of them. The That's who I like. I like him. I don't know what he does. In That's very political. So who are you going yeah, to visit? Yeah, I love him. You going to visit him? I'm going to visit him. <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to ask him, can I give him some beard oil? This girl's a marketing genius. I don't know. Point to it. That's what I said was your hair. You said no. Yeah, I don't know, but that's this is the bus we take. Best Uber driver, well, boat driver in Ghana. He drove us all the way from Kumasi 